Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we will continue with the refactoring of the page class that we have. So in the previous tutorial, we have understood about the refactoring of this launch page and we have removed the locators, hard coding, moved them separately on the page class. And then we have these get methods for finding the web elements and then basically whatever operations we are going to perform on those web elements that we have defined as the methods. So we had looked into how you can refactor these pages. Now let's go to the test case and we can still see here that if you see that we still have some uh, presence of elements and we are still having this X path here, right? So this presence of elements is basically part of this search flight results page. So what I have done is let me minimize this. This is the second page, right, of the application or the test case that we are working. Now on this particular search flight results page, I have again did the same thing. I have externalized uh, these locators. I have removed these locators from the script, right? And these these locators are defined by these variables and these variables are then used here in the methods right so for example get filter by one stop icon and I have also followed the naming convention as suggested by Python which is basically all lowercase and we can use the underscores in this one if you see if I hover over you will get this suggestion it's not an error but you will get this, this suggestion that you can uh, basically you know function name should be lowercase this is this is an error or a uh, uh, you know warning sort of if you see here these are the weak warnings that you will see but function name should be lowercase so it's always better to follow the convention that is recommended by python right so i'll leave it as is at the moment but when you are doing it make sure that you follow this particular format wherein function name are all lowercase followed by to make it more readable you just use the underscores all right so let's move on so now here as part of this particular page what previously we had is we had this filter flights right and we were simply filtering the flights based on the number of stops right so this was the x path for the one stop right and we were just filtering for this one stop now the refactored code looks a bit lengthy as compared to the previous one but say for example I have to filter the flight based on two stop then I have to write the same thing for the two stop with the two stop X path there then uh, non-stop again another right uh, method to handle non-stop flights with the X path being hard-coded now what I have done is I have removed all these X paths at the top for the one stop two stop and non-stop then define the methods to get those web elements right to return those web elements by one stop two stop and non-stop and just written one method which takes an argument stop so if I'll pass one stop here it will click on the one stop in the search flight so here if I open yatra.com so if I'll pass on one stop it will click on one it, if I'll stop uh, if I'll pass two stop it will click on two stop uh, two here if I'll pass non-stop it will click on zero right so just one method will be able to handle any of these operations okay so that's the advantage of this particular method and it is very very simple if else if logic and if somebody doesn't provide any of the valid stops there is else condition which will print just please provide valid filter option right so now this is much better as compared to the previous one now here in the test search flight we need to externalize this as well this is basically checking for the presence of all elements when the flights are loaded right so all the flights when all flights get loaded in the flight search page so this page here when all the flights are loaded it will return what all number of flights are there right so that's the list basically that it returns it's basically waits for the presence of all those elements and this is the x path that looks for those web elements or the web elements that return that are returned as part of the flight search okay so this is all i have explained in previous tutorials so if you are not following in the sequence i would highly recommend go ahead and watch in sequence because if you're directly coming to this particular video you might miss a lot of other stuff that i'll be covering as part of the python or the pytest testing framework that we are using as part of this automation framework or even the xpath how we have concluded these xpaths right so let's externalize this and in order to 
simply move it out we will copy it right so we'll do the same thing here right the same way we did here so we'll define a method and then we'll return that particular web element right so let me copy this path first and sorry not this one uh, this xpath and in the search flight results page here we'll define another variable we'll say search flight results and paste that particular xpath okay so now we'll just use this variable so if somebody changes in this xpath we just want to replace here and we do not need to touch any of our script okay then i'll define a method so i'll say def and i'll say get get search flight results right and simply return i'll return copy the whole thing all right i'll simply copy it, the whole thing and instead of this i'll simply say self dot wait for presence of all elements by xpath and here we do not want to use xpath we have defined that xpath in a variable so i'll simply select that remove it and i'll say self dot search flight results right and that will give me or this method if i'll call will return me the flight search flight results or the results that are displayed right so now in this particular place here okay i do not need this statement anymore okay so i can get rid of it and now we can call that method that we have defined here right so get search flight results so i can simply say so this is part of this search flights right so i can say search flights because we have created the object of this search flight and i can say sf dot filter or get search flight results this is the method that we have simply created right so get search flight results okay so now in this particular test case we have externalized that part which was the part of the search flight results results page right so similarly if there is another page which has the details which you are using here in the test case you have to keep externalizing them or keep moving them basically into the page classes not into the test classes okay so that's the whole point of it and this is the approach that we are following is we have written a test case in the raw format and then we have we are converting it into the framework in the actual scenarios you will analyze your application you will come up with all those, those design decisions thought processes prior to implementing the test cases so you will know how how you are going to implement the pages and you will start from the utils pages the base driver you will start something from here and then you will come to the test case so i'll cover these the approach that you will actually take in the later tutorials but this the way i'm explaining this is because to make you understand so that once you have the test case ready and you are going to refactor the test case it, it makes more easy for you to understand why we are going to create framework and what advantages it will go it's going to bring all right so now you'll see that all stops is now holding the search flight results and nothing as such in terms of xpath or anything is hard coded in this particular file right and now this particular file is also ready i can simply remove these old details from here right and this page is ready with locator separate yatra launch page is ready with locator separate right and all the methods are being defined at the bottom right for this particular page if tomorrow you have to find another locator on this particular page and you want to interact with another locator then you simply define that locator here define a method and the operation that you are going to perform on that particular web element as a method again and use it in your test case as we have done here all right so now simply let's go ahead and run this particular test and see that it runs as expected as it was running before. So I'll simply say pi test hyphen b hyphen s and should perform exactly the same way as it used to work previously. So it's selecting the details, selected the date, search flights, scroll the page. It has scrolled to the end of the page. Now it should select the filter. It has selected filtered by one stop and then it has started the assertion right so it has failed at the assertion and it has failed at the assertion level right so you can see that fail the text is one stop but it it failed to verify that all the details in the one stop are here you can see that it's assertion error so utils.py and you will see that it failed here right so whatever value we are passing here as part of the test case we are verifying that all stops that we are passing here those that list of stops should contain one stop right so we'll fix that later but as of now with this particular refactoring our test case is working exactly the same way as it used to work before 
all right so to reiterate what we have learned we have learned to refactor the page classes and make them more maintainable we have done the launch page similarly we have done this particular flight results page right which is the next page on this particular yatra website this is the page the second page the first one is the page where we provide the depart from going to departure date and click on search flights and once we click on search flights the second page is what we have just refactored right so after refactoring these pages we need to understand how we can link these pages together so that we do not need to create these objects right so here what we are doing is we are creating an object of the launch page then calling the methods that are defined in the launch page class then we are creating an object of the search flight results page and calling the methods within that particular class then we are calling we are creating an object of the utils and calling the method so is there a better approach to do this in our test case right and if tomorrow i have to write another test case how we can handle those test case within this particular test class so all that we are going to learn in upcoming tutorial so that's all for this particular tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching